if you'll see the world bank estimate uh, almost 1% of people work in waste sector but not only waste pickers there are sorters loaders and there is a whole pyramid of waste management in that the waste pickers are at the bottom always and then if if you'll take this uh, waste picker sector you will find that at the bottom there are waste pickers mostly women and there are number of children uh, also working in this sector men are less but men are always there in the sorting and other things you know above that waste picking is a women's issue so we feel that nobody should be waste picker in this world because we are throwing waste on the road the waste is being collected by someone also as uh, i earlier said that it's a caste factor that people also feel that someone else will do why should i do why should i put my hand in the uh, waste someone else waste or my own waste not someone else waste my own waste so if you will see the whole waste management scenario waste pickers are always ignored you can say they are invisible force because you know everyone in you coming to your building or your lane but you don't know who is the waste picker in your lane so first of all they save the dumping ground area because they are mm, picking up waste from the, uh, the lanes suppose if we'll say there is 25% dry waste in the city a total waste is around 10000 tons out of that 25% out of that waste pickers collect only 15% other waste they cannot collect because it is mixed okay so even they are collecting 15% it also means that they are saving taxpayers money because 15% of whatever crores of rupees municipality is spending municipality is saying they are spending 8 rupees per kilo so imagine 15% of that waste multiplied by 8 rupees how much amount it will come every day every day and they are also uh, bringing that waste on to their shoulders or heads so no municipal vehicles help helps them in some wards it is help now mm. so another thing is they are also saving the environment they are supplying raw material to the recycling factories so the work is very important but it is very unhygienic very dirty so there should not be anyone who picks up the waste in this modern world there should be only collectors because the collectors will be there that there in the every country like hardly any country will be there where the people are uh, putting their own waste somewhere otherwise everywhere there are collectors so collectors will be there but the waste pickers should not be there and they sh- uh, they also should be integrated in the whole solid waste management f- formal system the whole system is centralized if it is decentralized then the waste can be uh, com- uh, compost made out of the uh, sorry if the system is decentralized then the compost can be made in your own compound like in my building also you can see we are having compost pits like in tata instead of social science you can also convert that into biogas and dry waste can be sent for recycling and only hazardous waste which will be totally maybe around 10% or 15% but then that will go to uh, land- landfill site which is scientific landfill site at present these options are not there at all only option is dumping if you'll see municipal corporations plan now of course from last 5th april there are uh, lots of new rules have come but they are not yet implemented rather i will say that not even the public is not even informed now neither the corporator that there are new rules and new uh, setup of uh, arrangement will come where you have to segregate not only in two uh baskets but three baskets so one is dry waste other is wet waste and third is hazardous waste and which should go to landfill site and other dry and wet waste should be disposed of decent in a decentralized way 
but municipality has not yet started implementing that. They just say it's only lip service. And uh, and the solution for municipal corporation is uh, incineration, which is a dangerous solution because that solution can generate dioxins which are poisonous and carcinogenic. And they find only one place that is in Mankhut or Devnar dumping ground because they're it is all surrounded in by the slums so they feel that uh, if it's put in the slums nobody will uh, question us but the problem is that when the smoke goes up or the emissions go up they will not come down to the slums it will go to hills and new mumbai everywhere those emissions will go so one side we are saying that emissions should be less emissions are also due to the transport because we are bringing all the waste there to incinerate okay so how the how this all fits in the new rules i don't know no they are poorest of the poor that is one thing secondly in the hierarchy or pyramid of waste management also uh, there are it's occupied totally by men all the space only pickers are the women so we want to break the situation we want because i we also re realized long back that if really we stop throwing waste on the roads all these women will starve because they don't have any other skills they are all illiterate they are all migrants from marathwada or tamil nadu or karnataka but from they are i mean they they are all form, formal landless laborers in the drought they had come to mumbai okay so we are trying to uh, educate their second generation because nobody no waste picker will want her daughter or son to become a waste pickers so we have taken a very big educational program for children of waste pickers around 5000 children we see that they go to school because before our intervention all girls were getting married at age of 13 it's a marathwada culture so here now we are trying that all the girls go to school they are also becoming graduate now taking different courses and all that so that the, there won't be a, with as i earlier said there should not be anyone who picks up waste from the road but now what we are doing is also we are giving alternate skill training to waste pickers like you have a canteen in tss campus so but there are other skills also gardening composting biomethanation all that you can see in the iss campus so we are trying to give them different skills or give value addition uh, or add value to their occupation which is not as dirty as picking up waste from the road or in the dumping ground but uh, remember that they also don't want to come out of this because there is a instant money in this you pick up waste and you get money in the evening so we are really telling them to quit this uh, uh, trade but they don't want because actually many of them are single parent families many of them are widows so they are the only earning members in their family they have children more num number of children is more always so they have to educate them they have to feed them so they feel that here there is uh some uh, amount of money is there you get instant money though the work is very unhygienic and very dirty they don't want to get that is a problem for us also yeah asm started working with waste pickers from 1999 okay uh first we organized them because we were also all uh, working women the basic what the trust trimukti sangathana is made up of working women so we didn't know what is waste because my my house also our my person who works as a house assistant cleans the house and puts the waste into the uh, common bin of the society or the sweeper takes it and then municipal corporations vehicle comes and that takes it. so it was for me also it was out of sight out of mind when we started working with waste pickers as as a women's organization because we are working for women's cause for last 40 years so when we started uh, working for them we always thought that we'll make their self help groups or we 
may have a literacy class or we'll see that the children get education and uh, we will have health camps and all that we never realize that we have we will have to look at the waste also what are the problems of the waste and then first time i visited devnar dumping ground i was really horrified because i'm staying in chembur since 1955 but i had never visited devnar dumping ground we remember the dumping ground when the smell comes or when there is a smoke then we are all scared so here we uh, when we started studying but we were always interested we thought that see collection of dry waste is a easier thing easier thing in the sense for organizing them but we felt that the disposal of waste weight waste and processing of that is more difficult because it requires a process you have to follow a process and then if you see the waste pickers they are reluctant to touch weight waste because they also feel it is dirty we don't want to touch it so convincing them motivating them and motivating middle class also to segregate the waste was most difficult task and also negotiating with municipal corporation so all the three uh, fronts we were struggling it took some time for us but then what we did is when we train around 1000 women in composting and biomethanation they were not getting jobs so as a organization or as a ngo you can say we did not want to take any contracts so we formed their own organization which is registered and the president is sushila sable so all their people are um, uh, i mean the all waste pickers are the office bearers there they take decision so that is known as parisar bhagini vikas sangh which also runs canteen and then we also uh, form their own cooperative so that they can have alternate skills they can they themselves can go and take contract so now there are around 10 cooperatives which are re- they are really signing contracts with the big corporates also now so now we feel that they are on the right track because then if there is a cooperative or there is a entity then they can have different skills also and the other side there is a public education is necessary where we have a school based program where we take uh, lectures in the schools about the waste management we have a garbage gallery uh, which we have made which might be the first ga- such gallery in the country uh, in copper khandi nabe mumbai where there is a exhibition you know what happens what is the journey of garbage so that we also have cds there is a book on waste management there are pamphlets brochures whatever uh, we could do for campaigning or for public uh, awareness we are doing that and we are doing also doing in more cities other than mumbai alliance of indian waste speakers is a national uh, alliance where maybe around 37 cities people are uh, working in this national alliance and we were successful in negotiating with government to give scholarships to waste speakers children because earlier the scholarships only were there for manual scavengers they were not looking at waste pickers job as a dirty work so we had to convince them and now there are scholarships i mean otherwise earlier in our program we always had have to take donations whereas it is government's job to uh, give scholarships or give free education to this class but then um, they were not ready so now around 2 years ago they started giving scholarships also the government social justice department has also uh, with the alliance efforts started uh, i mean sorry with alliance effort the social justice department has included waste speakers in the safai kamgar commission so whatever advantages safai kamgar will get even for ordinary skill training and there are so many things so so this advantage waste pickers also will now get remember that the waste is a big business only thing is waste pickers are poor but otherwise there is lot of money in the waste which goes to the top level and the, the poor are always um, deprived of that income so if they really understand that business because it is as i earlier said it's all in main sense so women don't do business they also like that situation that we are employers and we are employed so we have to change their mindset also and their cooperative should take up this business because it's a, it, it though it is i mean if it is really collection it's not that dirty it's a good business it 
gives a lot of uh, money and another thing is that remember that in any informal sector when there is a technology comes like biomethanation mm -hmm. or even composting and all mm -hmm. it's not rocket science but then when the technology comes women are always thrown out mm -hmm. everywhere so we want to teach these women the business so that they can become business women mm -hmm. we are asking like Pune Municipal Corporation has done integrate waste speakers into the formal system okay so they become workers you know they get their rights and all that at present it is a freelance work they are doing so if they get they get if suppose we, we have lost some jobs when the tender was called because you want you must have tender deposit and all that all those things so we ask them that uh, uh, the women to learn the business skills and private we have to fight privatization in that case or you, government has to integrate but again I'll say that in the Satcha Bharat mission they have said that waste speaker should be integrated but it should not be a vicious circle that you know when in the sweepers you know because they get quarters they don't allow their children to study so they they should get the job also a job in the municipal corporation so that should not happen so both sides we are uh, we could be in privatization women waste speakers are going to lose lose the waste because they won't have any access imagine a new complex which is there mm. and there are sweepers maid servants in the house there are watchmen and all they won't allow even waste speakers to come inside so they there won't be any access so they have to learn alternative skills it's a big process because they are all illiterate so you have to write from scratch another thing about the waste speakers is that if other women we start teaching them business or uh, other skills alternate skills mm. they start from the scratch here you know they are they all uh, already getting some rupees 200 300 mm. for their work mm. per day so they want it from the beginning only they want, don't want to leave it they don't want to come for any training mm. because if they come for training they will forego their whatever income they so it's a huge process you, you require a lot of stipend to give them training in other skills mm. then first you have to teach them how to read and write which we had done for the uh, office bearers of the cooperative societies 